Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to dive into this huge FabFitFun box. I am so excited to check out all these new products. I have been waiting to try them, except for one. I do have one that is in my bathroom shower right now that I should go get to show you. So yeah, let's just dive right into the box. This is the fall box for this season. It is so adorable. You have like everything fall in this on this box. We have shopping for fall clothes, leaves, acorns, and pumpkin spice lattes, of course. Starbucks just came out with this pumpkin spice latte on August 28th, yes. They also have pumpkin scones, maple pecan muffins, and apple cider donuts. We have bike riding with scarves, so cute. We have this little lady enjoying her pumpkin spice latte on this cute little orange couch. And boots. Of course, boots and makeup, yes. Opening the box. And this is the beautiful fall box. I love that FabFitFun gives you a little brochure in here. It's like a little booklet of all the stuff that's in your box, like what's it about. And it has the total value, which is $285.97 to about $375.94. So depending on what you selected for your box, if you customize it, that's how much you are getting for the total value. When in reality, you only pay $200 a year and really only $50 for this box. You guys may have not gotten all this stuff in your box, but this is what I chose for my box this season. This is what the inside of the box looks like. I've already torn through this cute little leaf sticker to see what was inside so I could prepare for this video. But this is what the inside looks like. It's so adorable. But first, coffee. This is the Alfred French Press Coffee Maker. And yes, we are going to make coffee together. So grab your own cup of coffee and enjoy this video. I have a feeling this is going to be a very long video. <laughs> Here is the beautiful French coffee press. And it says, but first, coffee. I've actually never used a coffee press before. I've used a pour over and I've used a Keurig and I've used an espresso machine, but I've never used a French press and I don't know how actually. So today we are going to learn. You know what? You're probably supposed to wash this thing before you put hot water and coffee. In. Whoa. Did you see that? The grip came off. Oh no, what does this mean? I'm so confused. I'm probably supposed to wash this, but... Done, washed. Um, so yeah, this little grip is like hanging off and I don't really know what that means and I hope it's not broken. I guess, I guess we'll find out. Maybe it goes in here. Maybe I have no idea how it's supposed to go because I've never used a freaking French press. Okay, so first instruction, fill your French press with hot water and let it preheat for one minute. Just gonna wash it with my shirt. I already have my hot water right here. I'm just going to fill this French press with hot water. Look at this steaming. Yes, it is. You know what? I need more hot water. That's not good. All right, it's preheating. I used all my hot water, but it's preheating. I fixed, I fixed the French press. So earlier, this little rubber thing had come off, this thing, and now I just push, I put it around the top of the lid, and that just makes sure that the lid stays down when you're pushing this up. Anyways. Anyways, okay, so this, the hot water has been sitting in here for about one minute. I poured it out. The next step is to empty the water and add one teaspoon of coffee for each cup of coffee desired. I feel like I'm back in third grade. Where do you put the coffee? On top? 
I'm guessing on top. Fill your French press with hot water. Use one cup of water per teaspoon of coffee to a maximum of one inch below top of glass beaker and stir lightly. Okay, so I have more hot water now. I'm going to measure out just one cup of hot water because I need to sleep tonight. So I'm measuring out to the one cup. Perfect. All right, so I think that I do this. I have my little coffee grounds here. I ground some veranda beans from Starbucks and I ground it a little bit more coarse because it's a French press and French is coarse. French ground is coarser than other ones like paper. So I'm going to measure out one teaspoon of the coffee and then I'm going to, oh, 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 you put this at the bottom. Okay, I get it now. So you put your coffee at the bottom here. Doing it, done, okay. Then I'm going to pour the water, the one cup of water into there. Then it says to lightly stir it. I'm just gonna take this and lightly stir it. Then it says place lid on beaker with the filter fully raised and let it brew for three to five minutes. Putting the lid on with the filter fully raised, just like this, crooked, crooked, cool, no, crooked. Okay, now I'm gonna let that brew for three to five minutes. I'm gonna set my alarm for four minutes start okay it's starting it's brewing four minutes go while our coffee is brewing I wanted to go into the next item in the box and that would be these little guys right here these are the simply whimsical homemade pretty towel and they are very cute it's like white and gray and they have stripes all over them here they are it comes with two hand towels these are very cute, let's see. 80% cotton, 20% polyester, polyester, polyester. Made in India, complies with Prop 65. If any of you are very adamant about Prop 65, don't worry, this complies with it. Machine wash, line, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so yeah, these are really nice. These seem soft. Um, I'm guessing these are just your kitchen hand towels. They're very cute. Let's just rip one open here. All right, so yeah, here's the inside of them and the outside of them. It looks like a little chevron design type thing going on here. Little chevron designs. So yeah, we'll try these out. It's cute, it's cute. I feel like that would go with a lot of kitchens because they're white. They're white and gray and I feel like that would just go with a lot of kitchens. Like my kitchen is like red-ish. And so like that would look great in my kitchen. I'm, I'm for it, I'm for it. Next in our FabFitFun box, we have these little guys right here. This is the Cobra Wireless Earbuds. These I'm excited about because I've actually have been wanting a pair of the Apple, what are they called? Oh, AirPods, but they are expensive. So this, this is a good alternative, I guess. So here are the uh, earbuds. I think you can either like listen to them like this. Ooh, they fit my ears. Or put them behind you and be a dork and put them, listen to them like this. Whatever you wanna do. Oh, I can't hear anything. Oh, it popped out, not okay. They do come with a, another set of these little earbuds right here, just in case these don't fit your ears. There are a smaller pair. I might need to do that because I think these are too big. Now, let's see if these, this is gonna turn on for me right now. Oh, it turned on. Coffee's done. Okay, so let's get to our coffee. Let's get back to our coffee. Okay, so the coffee is done. 
This is what it looks like currently. I'm just gonna say right now, it does not look delish. I see little, little pieces of coffee floating and the coffee does not look strong at all. It looks very watery and disgusting. I don't know what the heck I did wrong. <laughs> Let's see. Slowly push down the center shaft until the filter gently reaches the bottom of the beaker. Enjoy coffee. Pushing. Pushing. Okay. I don't know about this. This doesn't look right, honestly. Got my little Paris cup. I'm gonna pour it. Yeah, look at that. It's legit water. Mm. I don't think I'm gonna enjoy this coffee. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna work for me. I wonder if I did the wrong ground size. No, it's no bueno. I did something wrong. Me no know what I did wrong, but I did something wrong. And I, I, I'm sure it's a great French press. There are little bits of coffee in here. Yeah, the coffee was a fail. <laughs> I don't know what I did wrong, but I'll have to look into that. Um, these, I was about to set up. Let's see, I'm gonna, it's on, it's on. These are so cute. I just changed the little ends here because these I think were too big for my ears, so I got little ones on. And the opposite side, it has a little pink round ring to it and it's very cute. So, these are Bluetooth, so I'm gonna hook it up to my phone. Kylo Cobra, there it is. Oh, it's connected. Let's see if it works. Is there an ear? Is this right or left? It doesn't matter, okay. All right, these fit much better, for sure. Oh yeah. Can you hear it? You can listen with me. Okay, these are good. Um, they have little up and down arrows right here. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna turn it off now. It's off. Blue light is off. It takes two hours to charge them completely and you get four hours of playing time and 4.5 hours of talking time and 90 hours of standby time. Just to keep in mind. They have a wrap around the neck design Music, phone call controller, built-in microphone. This is the microphone. Tangle-free cable. Yeah, they're not tangled. Sound isolation, very true. I couldn't hear anything out of those. Um, Cause they have these little rubber grips that cancel out all noise and that's great i just got it in my coffee grounds and i have coffee in my ears literally coffee pouring out of my ears now to the fun stuff next in the box are these guys right here the box comes with two glam glow bubble sheets oxygenating deep cleanse mask men and women glow oxygenate detoxify purify face makeup removal these are some pretty handy dandy masks so it says to unfold mask dampen face why does everything require water these days why place onto the face aligning with the eyes nose mouth smooth all around the face oxygenating micro bubbles will start to form within 60 seconds leave on for approximately three minutes all right so i'm gonna take one of these guys one of these little babies and i'm gonna go dampen the face i'll be right back i have dampened the face and the hair a little bit i open the mask okay here what's going on here all right so this is the mask wow it is very sweat 
very wet. Unfolding it. Oh my gosh, this is so messy. Man, oh man, oh man. Today's a hot mess video. Kind of like all my other videos ever. There was a bubble in his eye. <laughs> Her is well. Ooh, it smells so good. Oh my gosh. Oh! <gasps> I made bubbles! <laughs> I made <laughs> Wait. Wait. <laughs> Wait, I wanna do that again. Now it's not gonna do bubbles for me. Fine. Okay, putting it on. Mmm, it smells very citrusy. Oh man. Oh man, this is messy. Okay, it's on my face. It is very soapy. Very, very soapy but it, it feels very nice. It smells citrusy. It's very soft. Oh, it is so soft on the skin. It's very soapy. Now let's watch it oxygenate. It's, uh, it's oxygenating now. It's oxygenating. I feel bubbles. What time is it anyways? Okay, it's 416. Oh, it's oxygenating on my fingers too. Mm -hmm. Bubbles are forming. Oh yeah, look at that. They're all up on my face now. They all up in there. I'm only supposed to leave it on for three minutes. Remove mask and gently massage face with remaining cleansing bubbles. Rinse clean with water. I'm gonna do that in about two more minutes. Oh yeah, it is very foamy. So it basically turns into foam. You know that soap that's just like foaming soap? It's just like foam. It's all foam. I know you're asking how old I am. Don't. All right, so I just took my mask off and my face is feeling very cleansed and fresh and rejuvenated and I, I really like that mask. It felt so soft and my face feels really clean and I feel like it really has a good glow to it now. I do, oh, it feels so soft and clean. I don't even feel tightness, which normally after cleansing I feel a little bit of tightness. I mean, I feel a little bit, but it's not as much as I do normally feel, you know? I think that is a really awesome mask. I like it a lot. Next in the FabFitFun box is this, the Grown Alchemist Hydra Repair Day Cream with Camellia and Geranium Blossom. Ooh, wow, this is cute. So this is what the bottle looks like. This is a day cream, so drop the lid. This is a day cream, so I'm going to put some on right now. Oh wow, it smells so good. It smells so stinking good. All right, got some on my fingers now. Okay, seriously? Seriously, thank you. All right, I'm going to, I'm going to just Apply this to my face. Oh yeah, it's very, it's a very nice thick consistency. I like it, and it smells citrusy. I'm guessing that's the camellia and geranium blossom shining through. I'm gonna just press it in. 
my fingertips. Feels very nice. <gasps> I just remembered. What is tomorrow? Tomorrow is the 29th. No, tomorrow is the 30th. On August 31st, the British Baking Show is coming out with its fifth season and I am so excited to watch it. My husband and I have like a little tradition where we watch those together and it is so much fun and I love that show. I really, really like that day cream. It is so soft. It's not greasy. It just feels like the softest lotion. Oh, it feels so good. This is the Pharmacy Do It All Total Eye Cream with and China Sea Green Envy. This is what it looks like. I'm just gonna open it up here. This is what the actual product looks like. I'm just going to put some around my eyes. All right, I'm just gonna put that around my eyes. Oh wow, that feels really nice. Yep, really like that. Feels really, really nice. I just wanna sit here and rub this on all day. All right, while I let that sink in, this is what the inside looks like. It comes with this little topper here. It comes kind of green inside the pot here. I feel like this would last you a really long time. Even though it looks really tiny, I think it's gonna last me a really long time because literally a little bit went such a long way. You don't even need that much at all of this. It's spread around so nice. Love it. My face is feeling really nice and moisturized after that day cream. It feels very nice as well. This is super exciting. So FabFitFun has teamed up with Beauty Blender. Is that how you say it, teamed up? I'm not really sure, but they gave us a beauty blender in this season's box and I am so excited because I love a nice new clean beauty blender or beauty sponge of any sort. Mostly Real Techniques and Beauty Blender itself. What is this? What? Why? I love Whitney Simmons. She just throws everything. It's so great. Guess what? Need more water. I'm gonna go dampen this and I'll be right back. Okay, I just dampened the Beauty Blender. I've actually never seen this color of the Beauty Blender, but I really like it. It feels really nice. I do have the pink one that my husband got for me off of Amazon, and I don't know if it's real because it feels kind of weird, but this one feels extremely soft and really nice to, to the touch. I'm going to test it out with my It Cosmetics CC cream. I've got a brand spanking new one right here because the other one is a shriveled up little nothing. First though, I am going out after this, so I'm gonna go in with my Becca Evermatte Poreless Priming Perfector. I'm trying to get into matte primers more because I am oily. I tend to get oily and so I'm trying to get into matte primers as of late. And this one I think I got in my BoxyCharm and I think it's good. I think it really did mattify my face. Took away that glow. That's all right. I am mad. All right, feels nice. Now I'm just going to open up my new CC cream, pump some on the back of my hand, and go straight in with my beauty blender. And just stamp that all over my face. Oh yeah, this feels actually very nice and soft. I really like this, for sure. All right, well, this blended out like a dream. Maybe look a little bit more dewy, because it is a beauty blender. It did soak up a lot of that foundation, the one downside of beauty blenders, but that's okay. It blends it out very, very well, and so I don't mind that it soaks up some product. 
Next in the box, we have some of the crown brushes here. It comes with a little carrying case. And inside we have six brushes. And we, let's see, we have a face brush, a blush brush, a concealer brush, um, a shadow brush, a blending brush, and an eyeliner brush here. So I'm going to open these up and use them for you today. This is actually a very nice case because it's, it has like a hard case instead of like those soft brush cases. So I feel like your brushes will stay nice and safe inside. Oh, these brushes are so soft. They feel so nice. Well, first I'm gonna go into the concealer brush and apply some of my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer over some of those blemishes that I want hidden a little bit. I'm just going to blend it in with this concealer brush. Better yet, let's use this beauty blender for that. Oh yeah. That concealer brush is good for like spot concealing and stuff like that. Also, you can really tell when this is dirty. <laughs> Another downside to a white pinkish beauty blender. All right, I'm gonna go into my Tarte Shape Tape, brighten up the under eyes with this. I'm gonna use my Beauty Blender again. I do love how this Beauty Blender comes to such a point so you can really get into the corner of your eye. All right, I'm gonna take that crown blending brush and I'm just going to set my under eyes with the Tarte Shape Tape setting powder here. I feel like this brush is like the perfect size for the under eyes. Nope, too small. I'm gonna go in with my Beauty Blender once again and just press some powder underneath the, my under eyes to set it down. Set down that concealer. All right, now I'm gonna take this crown powder brush and just set my whole face with that heart powder. It's very flimsy, this brush. It's kind of getting my powder all over the place. Looking matte, looking matte. I'm going to take the blush brush in the collection and go into my Hoola bronzer and warm up these cheekbones. This is a bit stiffer of a brush, which is nice for contouring and for being more precise where you're putting your product. Yeah, I actually really like this brush for contouring. All right, I'm gonna take that blending brush from the Crown Collection and go into my Anastasia Soft Glam Palette and go into the shade Tempera and just put that shade all over my entire lid. This brush is a bit stiffer as well, which is nice. I'm gonna take this shade right here called Dusty Rose and I'm just gonna take that with this fluffy brush and put it in my crease. Next, I'm gonna go into the shade right here called Rose Pink with that shader brush from the collection and I'm just gonna put that on my whole lid. All right, I'm gonna take that same shadow brush and just go back into that dusty rose color right here on the corner there. And I'm just gonna smoke that on the bottom lash line. All right, and finally with that eyeliner brush, I'm just gonna go into the shade called Mulberry and I'm gonna line my eyes with that. This is a very tiny, precise eyeliner brush, so it works really well for getting really close to that lash line. I actually really like how that eye look turned out. Next, I'm just gonna put some mascara on my eyelashes. I'm gonna be putting this mascara on this one by Too Faced. This one, okay this one. 
All right, finished my makeup, and next in the box is the Skin and Company Roma Blue and Capri Shower Gel. This is a very nice smelling shower gel. Yep. With notes of Alpine Rose, Sage, Wild Basil, and Autumn Blossom. It smells really yummy. Really nice, really yummy. It smells fresh. It feels really nice. It feels soft and velvety on your skin when you're lathering it on your skin. It doesn't lather up too much, but it does a little bit, just enough. Just enough to be healthy enough. Yeah, it feels really nice. I've used it a couple times now and it just feels really nice and healthy and I love the smell. It smells super fresh. I think I loved every, every smell in this box, even the coffee. Even though it didn't taste very good, it still smells very good. Last but not least is the Luna Rica Bar. This is in the flavor Salted Caramel Nut. It is a cashew butter filled fruit and nut bar. And I thought I would give it a little taste. Ooh, it smells really good. This is what it looks like right here. Looks like it comes in little sections four little sections, so let's just break off a piece. Has 170 calories, eight grams of fat, three grams of protein. Just gonna break off a piece. Mm. That's good. It doesn't look like it's picture. Look at this. This is the picture on top. On the front, I see caramel and nuts. Caramel and nuts. I thought it was going to be way different. Yep. It is filled with something. It has something light in the middle. Probably the cashew butter. It is actually really good. This is really good. Yeah. Wow. That is so good. It contains nuts, milk, and soy. I don't think my husband's gonna get any. It's so good. I'll leave him one section. That's really good. I'm loving it. That was all the products in this box. I still need to set my face. Looking dewy and fresh. I like how that makeup look turned out. Those brushes, really good. This one, a little bit too floppy for me. A little bit too floppy, but that's why it's a powder brush. I'm gonna put some of this MAC Cream In Your Coffee lipstick on. I think it goes with the theme of the video. That was all the products in this season's FabFitFun box. I would definitely suggest looking into getting a subscription with FabFitFun. It is so much fun. You get 10 full-sized products that are good quality and it is just so much fun to open the box and see what you got for that season. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you'd like to see more beauty and lifestyle videos. I post every Tuesday and sometimes Saturdays. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you have a great rest of your week. Bye! I might call you in later to take away my cream refri refri refrigerate it. No, I don't need to say this. Anyways. Um, uh, oh, dripping down my shirt, dripping down my shirt. It's dripping. <sighs> my camera literally turns off every 15 minutes and it drives me bonkers. Crap. What am I going to do? I think I'm going to call for the hubs. Hubs! Oh, crap. He's in like too far away. Hey, babe! Hi. Can you please help me? I didn't know how how silky it was. 
I need you to take off my, this thing. What's going on? <laughs> what? I need you to help me. <laughs> help! Take this thing the off. Mic? You yeah. need to go somewhere else? I need to rinse it off. See you soon!